In mathematics, the tensor algebra of a vector space V, denoted T or T, is the algebra of tensors on V with multiplication being the tensor product. It is the free algebra on V, in the sense of being left adjoint to the forgetful functor from algebras to vector spaces. It is the most general algebra containing V, in the sense of the corresponding universal property. The tensor algebra also has two algebra structures, one simple one, which does not make it a bialgebra, and a more complicated one, which yields a bialgebra, and can be extended with an antipode to a Hopf algebra structure. Note. In this article, all algebras are assumed to be unital and associative. Construction. Let V be a vector space over a field K. For any non-negative integer K, we define the Kth tensor power of V to be the tensor product of V with itself K times. That is, TKV consists of all tensors on V of rank K. By convention TOV is the ground field K. We then construct T as the direct sum of TKV for K equals 0, 1, 2. The multiplication in T is determined by the canonical isomorphism given by the tensor product, which is then extended by linearity to all of T. This multiplication rule implies that the tensor algebra T is naturally a graded algebra with TKV serving as the grade K subspace. This grading can be extended to AZ grading by appending subspaces for negative integers k. The construction generalizes in straightforward manner to the tensor algebra of any module M over a commutative ring. If R is a non-commutative ring, one can still perform the construction for any RR by module M, a junction and universal property. The tensor algebra T is also called the free algebra on the vector space V, and is functorial. As with other free constructions, the functor T is left adjoint to some forgetful functor. In this case, it's the functor which sends each K algebra to its underlying vector space. Explicitly, the tensor algebra satisfies the following universal property, which formally expresses the statement that it is the most general algebra containing V. Any linear transformation F. V A from V to an algebra A over K can be uniquely extended to an algebra homomorphism from T to A as indicated by the following commutative diagram. Here I is the canonical inclusion of E into T. One can, in fact, define the tensor algebra T as the unique algebra satisfying this property. But one must still prove that an object satisfying this property exists. The above universal property shows that the construction of the tensor algebra is functorial in nature. That is, T is a functor from the KVECT category of vector spaces over K to KALG, the category of K algebras. The functoriality of T means that in any linear map from V to W extends uniquely to an algebra homomorphism from T to T, non-commutative polynomials. If V has finite dimension n, another way of looking at the tensor algebra is as the algebra of polynomials over k in n non-commuting variables. If we take basis vectors for V, those become non-commuting variables in T, subject to no constraints beyond associativity. The distributive law and k-linearity. Note that the algebra of polynomials on V is not, but rather, a linear function on V is an element of for example coordinates on a vector space or covectors, as they take in a vector and give out a scalar. Quotients. Because of the generality of the tensor algebra, many other algebras of interest can be constructed by starting with the tensor algebra and then imposing certain relations on the generators, i.e., by constructing certain quotient algebras of T. Examples of this are the exterior algebra, the symmetric algebra, Clifford algebras and universal enveloping algebras, algebra structures. The tensor algebra has two algebra structures, one simple one, which does not make it a bialgebra, and a more complicated one, which yields a bialgebra, and can be extended with an antipode to a Hopf algebra structure. Simple algebra structure The simple algebra structure on the tensor algebra is given as follows. 
The coproduct delta is defined by extended by linearity to all of TV. The count night is given by for every and for every for every. Note that delta TV 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 respects the grading and epsilon is also compatible with the grading. The tensor algebra is not a bi-algebra with this coproduct. By algebra and Hopf algebra structure, however, the following more complicated coproduct does yield a bi-algebra, where the summation is taken over all shuffles. Finally, the tensor algebra becomes a Hopf algebra with antipode given by extended linearly to all of TV. This is just the standard Hopf algebra structure on a free algebra, where one defines the commultiplication on by and then extends to via. Similarly, one defines the antipode on by and then extends the antipode as the unique anti-automorphism of with this property, i.e.